Good evening, happy Friday. Well, good afternoon, happy Friday, family. What a marvelous, marvelous day it has been for me. I hope your day was blessed. I hope your day was marvelous. I just wanted to pop in just to show my face, to let you know that your little country bunkin' sister loves you. I hope your day is going well. I hope you had an amazing Friday. I hope you're still having an amazing Friday. I hope you have a good Friday night. Happy pre-Sabbath to my brothers and sisters who are celebrating and honoring their Sabbath day coming up. I just want to let you know your love to keep going. Stay positive. Don't let the devil, don't, don't be quick to give your power over to the enemy when he want to snatch your joy and snatch your peace. You're going to feel yourself being so Relax and at ease when you learn how to just rest in God. Everything we don't even require our attention. It's, in fact, sometimes our attention needs to be too expensive to even acknowledge certain things, right? Meaning that our attention, our focus is too much, costs too much to give it to the things that don't even serve us well, to give it to those who are intentionally want to snatch our joy and snatch our peace and break our confidence. You know, there are some folk who are sometimes they will say mean things or try to say things to you rather than complimenting the things that they admire about you. Sometimes they'll try to say things to you to make you second guess your own confidence, to make you feel bad about some of your strengths. And really that's only because they feel insecure. There are some folk who can't have ha handle the level of strength that they see in others. And it don't matter how old, how young, the color, the rate, none of that don't matter. Don't matter how much money somebody got in their bank account. When you walk in a certain level of strength and you carry certain skills, trust and believe that there will be some people who are intimidated by some of your strengths, by some of your skills. And they are full of pride, full of haterade, that envious envy, energy, they can hide it. Some people can hide that stuff real good, right? And they'll try to camouflage it as if they may be trying to give you advice that you didn't even ask for from them. But really, if you listen to what they're saying, that envy, they, that envy is coming out, is exposing itself through their words if you got a discerning ear. And sometimes when you can really see the a, a person's uh, behind if you, when you can really see someone behind the mask that they're trying to wear, wear it can really piss you off if you see that they are a fraud and not really who they say they are, but they're holding up this image, trying to look down or, or trying to say things to, to break your spirit because they are intimidated, right? And they are a hater of some of your strengths and some of your skills. When you really can see who they are, who see them for who they are, but then a vast majority can't. Sometimes it will piss you off. But you know where the greatest strength comes from? Is when you can hold your peace and just, okay, the Bible said mark those that cause division. See, some people can hide their wicked, crafty deeds from, from those who can't see them for who they are. They can hide their hand, right? But they can't hide nothing from God. They can't hide it from God. And so I think that it is so, it is it's such a, how can I say it? It's a sign of strength and maturity when you can see a hater for who, who the hater is and you can just side, keep ignoring them and keep doing your thing. Let that encourage you to be even stronger. Whatever that thing is that somebody is hating on you about, they may hate the way other people like you. They might hate the fact that they tried to, uh, uh, contaminate your character your image but it didn't you know they were unsuccessful and so they couldn't slow you down they may hate the fact that they wanted to slow you down and throw speed bumps in your way but God continued to accelerate you whatever it is it is strength it is a form of strength and maturity when you can gracefully move around that type of opposition but just mark them you know you can never you know, sometimes some of the same people, they say sometimes when somebody can't beat you, they try to join you. When you see a spirit for who it is and see someone for who they are, because those type of behaviors are not normal. Those are not things that, how can I say it? You don't walk around holding hate or grudges in your heart, but at the same time, you don't forget what has been revealed to you about a certain 
individual because some of them same people will try to sometimes later come back in and and praise you in a certain way and get a little closer to you but it's not because they mean you well sometimes they have a very very con a, a hidden competitive spirit and because they couldn't defeat you in round one or they couldn't defeat you in round two so now they will try to switch up how they play in the game against you it's all a game it's all a game um and so i gotta i'll take that call in a minute i gotta get off here so i gotta go call this call back but it's so sometimes what they'll try to do is they'll switch up the angle and get a little closer to you so that they can learn a little more about you and what they want to learn about you is not because they really care that's why i say be careful how you answer questions and stuff it's like okay i couldn't defeat you in round one i couldn't defeat you in round two let me get to see if i can just you know change up how i come at you and try to come at you as if i'm being kind or i may say some compliments to you or whatever or disguise it you know my true motive it's all witchcraft it's all manipulation right because they're not a genuine spirit they're not pure they're not authentic at all but you can see through all of that so when you're guarded and you don't let your guards down and you begin to push back you don't want you don't need them you don't trust them right because you see the spirit behind them you don't want their advice you don't need to hear any or receive anything from them so anytime they come at you or they try to throw things out or, or get you to uh, lure you in by getting you to bite a bait or something, you know, you're, you're guarded. You you're know to avoid that, right? Because God does not open your eyes to it. Eventually, as time continues to go on, if they don't really look in the mirror and change that heart, right? Have a total circumcision of heart, they're going to self-destruct. They're going to self-destruct from within because I'm going to tell you something. People who try to trip other people up because of their envy, because they envy them and they hate their strength, they don't last long. And what I mean by that is they can continue to live in the earth and, and maybe accomplish good things or whatever. But deep down inside, they self-destruct and things begin to happen. And when they have an explosion, when God finally pulls the whole cover off of them, because oftentimes you'll get people, they will point out everybody for they'll try to keep the attention. They'll try to keep pointing at everybody else. And, 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 and calling out things about other people or just, you know, always trying to show where they're better than the next person. But eventually, when God pulls the cover off of people like that, it's really a very hard thing that they have to deal with. You know, it's very it's something very serious and sometimes it's something that leaves you pay, uh, feeling bad for them and praying for them because it's like, wow, you know, I would have I wouldn't never expected that to have happened or I would have never known they was you know this is what was really going on you know they made it seem like it was just so you know they was they were just so spotless and so blameless you know and so when God has to really sit somebody like that down or he intervened it's really a it's a it's a thing that really causes um all that they that mask that they've been wearing it causes people to see them for who they are and sometimes it's very detrimental to them. Sometimes people even commit suicide because they can't live in people now seeing them for who they really are, if that makes sense, right? And so I want you to be encouraged to keep your joy, keep your peace. Don't let a hater snatch your joy. Don't let a hater snatch your peace. Don't let nobody make you feel bad for your strength, for your skills. Everything we go through in this life, it can make us or break us. And some of you, you turned a lot of the painful things in your life to into um, uh, areas of strength you allowed the pain that many of us a lot of the pain and things and the lack of that we had to experience it only made us greater right so when you look back over your life sometimes it may not have been the perfect picture where some people have had a perfect picture childhood growing up and i wouldn't say perfect but you know an ideal childhood growing up but Sometimes you may say, well, dad, you know, if I if I didn't have experienced that or I didn't have go gone through that, I wouldn't have been as strong as I am today or I wouldn't have known or been pushed to pursue some of these things or I wouldn't have been able to do this or I wouldn't have been able to do that. You know, it makes you stronger sometimes the lack of or the painful experiences or trials that you had to fight through sometimes and people don't, they weren't always with you on your journey. So sometimes people that see you as you are now or your finished you know the finished the refined product they weren't there when you had to fight through a lot of those painful times they weren't there when you didn't have certain things they weren't there to 
encourage you. And so don't let nobody break you who did not help making you, you know, who did not help, who, who did not contribute, contribute to building you up, you know? Oftentimes when you look back, you see it was only God. If it had not been for God on our side, where would we be? So if God is the one who formed you, who created you, who strengthened you, who gave you the resilience, who gave you the strength and the courage and the power to endure the trials that you've had to endure in life, why let another human being come and try to knock you back down? Why let another human being come and try to make you second guess everything inside of you that you love about yourself don't you know that there are some people that don't even like their own minds there's some people that don't even like to sit by themselves and they don't even like themselves you know i like myself i like my personality i like the fact that i'm very humorous i like the fact that i can go out and just you know blend in with people from all different races and nationalities and make people laugh you know there are a lot of things i like by myself i like how i can think i like how new ideas and creativity things come to me sometimes you know, but then sometimes there are people who are always beating down on other people or pointing out the flaws of other people. They don't even like their own selves. And when you see that, they can be pretending they have this facade of confidence and, and strength, but really they're weak and they're broken. And sometimes when you when people know you can really see that, they get angry at you. Even though you may be praying for people sometimes, they get angry at you and they will try to um um they would try to do things to attack you sometimes, you know, whether it be verbally, whether it be spark, uh, starting false rumors about you, whether it be trying to change the perception of how other people see you just because they're angry with you, you know, pray for people, but move around them. Don't even respond. Be so determined that nobody's going to pull me out of my place of joy, out of my place of peace, that you can be feel relaxed, even in the midst of opposition, Right. So smile. Keep a smile on your face. Be joyful. And don't let the devil snatch your joy. Understand that there are some people who will be intimidated by your strength, by your level of strength, by your confidence. But oh well, that's their problem. It's not yours. You know, just keep doing things for the right reason. Encouraging your brothers and sisters. Putting your hands to the plow. You know, doing a job like you're doing it for God. And keep walking uprightly and God is going to continue to sustain and elevate his people by and by and it's already happening you know so anyway that's just my little two cents that's all i wanted to share i'm about to end my day and i hope you guys have a blessed day i'm going i'm gonna go and shower i'll probably cook me some spaghetti for dinner and i'll hit the gym up later this evening and just enjoy my day i just feel so light i feel relaxed and light even spiritually not just physically but spiritually as well you know it's not that the enemy didn't try doesn't try he tries on a regular basis but i am determined to see him and catch him and move around him you know he seeks he roams to and from seeking whom he may devour you know so anyway have a blessed day that's just my little says i hope that encourages somebody God bless you, and I love you. We are the light of the world. Let's don't never let our lights grow dark, baby. We got to keep shining bright. And we know that the blood of Jesus is sure. Our friend, our brother, our savior, that blood is the only blood that has power. Have a blessed day.